Okay, so how did my first 35 days go on carnivore even though I cheated? If you don't know me, my name is Echo and I create videos about how a normal everyday average person can put in the work and see results. So let's get to work. Well, first I wanted to tell you I did cheat. I want to be completely transparent. Yes, I have gone. I Since I have started the carnivore diet 35 days, how many days did I actually do carnivore? At day 23, I went on vacation and I was in a hotel, which is a situation where I usually overeat. I have a full video on how I overate, how it made me feel and everything like that. And I will put that link in the description below. But if you want the Cliff Notes version, so <laughs> because I was in a hotel and I was in a situation where I normally overate, vacation to me historically has been about what kind of food am I going to eat and how much am I going to get to eat. And so <laughs> while I was on vacation, I went completely off the rails and then I had trouble getting back on. And so I had a full seven days that I did not eat carnivore and then I was like I need to get back on track and I had a few false starts after that but I I still wanted to make a video on how it went because 23 days of that was amazing and the rest of that time I realized why carnivore is good for my body because during that time I felt like crap I didn't sleep well I I didn't well, I didn't eat well, I had tummy troubles, I had indigestion, I had heartburn, like all of these problems that I had before I went carnivore were just like back. And even though I knew I needed to get back on track, I still had trouble. That is why I made another video that talks about five things that I did to help me get back on track. But what I wanted to cover in this video was even though I cheated, what kind of results did I get? What kind of changes did I see in my life? One of the biggest things I learned is that I need some kind of way to track my progress and to have some kind of accountability. So what I loved about the carnivore diet, I was like, there is no tracking. I have decided not to weigh myself. I have decided, like I made all these, these plans that were like, in my mind, they felt very liberating because they were very, very much stepping away from what a lot of people think of as diet norms, such as like tracking your weight, um, tracking your food, all this stuff. And while on carnivore, if you are doing true carnivore, I don't want to track my food. I don't want to have to open an app and be like, well, how many ounces of food did I eat? How much butter did I have? How many strips of bacon did I have? I really enjoyed not doing that, but I also didn't think that when I was making my rules or making my thing about carnivore is that if I had no way to track my progress, if I had no way to see how I was doing, I kind of, I kind of self-destructed because there was no way to tell how I was doing. There was no way for me to know at any given moment how I was doing other than like, hey, was I eating carnivore? Yes. And while that may be like, if somebody has been on carnivore a long time, that may be all they need. They may just need that accountability of knowing if I'm eating carnivore, I'm doing what I should be doing. But in the beginning, I've decided that what I really need is a way to track my progress. And so I've decided that even though, even though I said uh, at the beginning that I was not going to weigh myself. I've decided that I am going to weigh myself because historically weighing myself has been something that keeps me on track and I'm going to evaluate how weighing myself makes me feel because there's a point where weighing myself is motivating and then there's a point where weighing myself is depressing. And that is usually like um, on a lot of diets, you hit a plateau. And whenever I hit a plateau, weighing myself became depressing. And then I became more restrictive. And I don't want that to happen. I don't want weighing myself to, to ruin any of my progress. But I also want to use it as a gauge of how much protein and fat I am eating aside from how my body feels 
to see what my body is doing. And so I've decided, I've just decided I'm going to weigh myself every week and I'm going to make a video that talks about my progress, that talks about have I had any struggles this week? Have I had any struggles this month? What has come up? What kind of food am I eating? Because even eating carnivore this short amount of time, there have been times where I'm like, oh, steak is the best thing. And there have been times where I'm like, I really don't want a steak. I want to talk about those things because those are what is going on on this carnivore journey. Well, actually every 35 days I'm going to, I know 35 days sounds like a weird amount of days, but there is actual logic behind it. And that's because I wanted to do it on, on the, the week, since I was going to weigh in weekly and a week is seven days, 30 days doesn't fit into, into a seven day. It isn't equally divisible by seven. But 28 days, even though it's two days shy of 38 days, didn't seem like long enough for me. So I stretched it out and went for 35 days. And that is what I'm going to do for my accountability is that I am going to make more videos about carnivore, talk about what I am eating, talk about my struggles, talk about how things are going, and just, just use it as a personal accountability thing so that I can know how I am doing so that if I need to, I can watch an old video and be like, this is what was going on then. This is how you worked through it. And this is what works for you. Because I think that that is the important thing is finding out what works for me. And I think that's what everybody needs to do. You can look at what somebody else is doing. You can look at what I'm doing. What, But what really matters is what works for you. And so even though I've been watching like tons of carnivore um, YouTube videos, tons of things, what they say works for them, but what works for them might not work for me. And so while I love going through McDonald's every, and I would like to be able to have meat cookies every day, that's just not in, in my budget right now to have meat cookies every day. Okay, here's what you're probably the most interested in. So how, even, even though I cheated on the carnivore diet, how did my first 35 days go? So here's how my first, I guess it's not a complete 35 days because I weighed myself on the day I decided to start being accountable. So on September 23rd, I weighed myself and my starting weight was 240.5 pounds. When I weighed myself again on October 27th, I was weighing 230.2 pounds. So even though I had cheated, even it really surprised me actually, because I was like, no way. I've spent the last, you know, seven days, eight days, like <laughs> eating all this food, like eating because, you know, I had messed up my day and I was like, well, I might as well enjoy today. And I told myself that over and over again for every, every day for those eight days. So every day was kind of like a little mini feast towards the end of the day. But when I weighed myself, I totally didn't expect to have still lost 10. I didn't, ex I didn't expect, I was like, oh, I'm going to be the exact same or I'm going to weigh more. I did not expect the scale to go down, but to have gone down from like 10, 10, 10 10.3 pounds to have gone. Yeah, I was doing math. I, and I'm going to say I was doing math in my head and I'm like feeling all proud. And then this little voice was like, but what if your math was wrong? I'm pretty sure my math was right. I'm going to do a thing off to the corner that says the, the real math. So I went from 240.5 to 230.2. 2. And yeah, and I also took pictures. So I had been intending that I was only going to take pictures also at the beginning and at the end. So I was going to wait till January 1st and then compare myself in this same outfit. And what I decided to do is that every 35 days, I'm going to do uh, the weight update with, along with a picture. And so I'm not going to take pictures weekly, but every 35 days, I'm going to take a picture of me in this same outfit. So here's the starting pictures compared with 35 days later.
although I don't see that drastic of a difference, I do notice a slight difference. And I think that pictures are important. I have, I have so many before pictures, but I have never made it to the after. I have never made it to any, any of my goals before. And so I decided that, you know, I'm going to start using those before pictures and I'm going to take progress pictures instead of waiting for an after picture. And so here, yeah, if you want to see them again, I'm going to flash them up there again. These are my progress pictures of how 35 days went. You need to find that balance of what works for you. And so that's what these videos are about to help me chronicle how I'm finding that balance in my life. So those were my first 35 days. And although those 35 days did not go how I intended them to go. I didn't like when I started out, I didn't think that most of our like a third, a fourth, some, some math equation of, of time was going to be a, the amount of time that I cheated. I thought I was going to come on here and I was going to make the third, I, I was originally going to make a 30 day video and be like, this is how my first 30 days went. But then I had that incident at day 23 and I had trouble getting back on track and so I was like I was hesitant for a long time and I was like well I already blew it you know what I mean and I'm not I don't really have to commit to this and I'm like no you have to commit to this I was like okay I am going to make a video on how my 35 days went even though I cheated and you know what I'm glad I decided to make this video because if I hadn't made this video I would have never, I would have never seen that I still made progress, but I would have quit. Sometimes I have the desire to quit. Sometimes we have the desire to quit, but if we just keep going, we'll find that we have done better than we actually, actually thought we did. Like I never thought that there was any change. I thought that my my binge eating that those days that I had fallen off of the the bandwagon the carnivore bandwagon had completely ruined things but when I like looked at the data when I looked at my pictures when I looked at my weight when I thought about how I felt now that I'm a few days back on I felt better and I was like so thankful that I hadn't quit so thankful that I looked at the data and was like you know what you're not doing like you made a mistake it's not the end of the world. You can get right back on. And so that's, I think, something that I needed to learn from these first 30, 35 days to help me with the next 35 days. And so once again, my name is Echo. If you enjoyed this kind of content, please like and subscribe. It would help out my channel. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment below. Okay, have a good day. Till the next time. Bye.